What up, YouTube? We got a February 28th through March 5th edition of Motown Mail. Some nice pickups this week. Uh, my favorite is this uh, PSA DNA certified encased index card signed by the greatest college football player of all time, none other than Red Grange. Unfortunately, it's personalized to Bill Stewart, and I don't know who the hell that is. Uh, however, I'm going to nicely uh, um, cover the Bill Stewart. I'm going to bust this out of the case. It's for my, own, for my own collection. I'm going to bust that out of the case so it'll look like that. Say from Red Grange, and then you got a nice 8x10 of the Galloping Ghost. And uh, it looked pretty sweet, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, paid a little bit, but it's worth it, you know. Nice looking signature too. It's it's a much earlier signature than a lot of the Red Grange autographs you see. A lot of the ones you, the majority of them that you see um, are kind of look like they're written by an old guy. <laughs> Whereas this one is actually looked like it was signed quite a while ago. So I really love how that signature looks. Again, it's PSA DNA certified, but I am going to bust this out of the case eventually. Um, Hall of Fame ball collection. Got three new balls for the Hall of Fame ball PC. Um, down to needing 27 living Hall of Famers now, which it's not, it sounds like a lot, but that's really not compared to how many of the Hall of Famers there are. Uh, first off, I got Juan Mershell, the Domin Dominican Dandy. Played most of his career with the uh, San Francisco Giants, was inducted in the Hall of Fame uh, in 1983. R I always loved his autograph too, so very happy with that addition. We got Red Shane Dienst from the um, St. Louis Cardinals, Hall of Fame 1989. Yo, what up? And finally, these are all from the same guy on sportscollectors.net, hooked me up with a deal. This one's a little bit smeared, not too bad. Um, got it for like the, pretty much the cost of the ball, so I couldn't pass it up. Uh, Don Sutton. So, former uh, Dodger, former Brave. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So, can knock off three more off my list. So, um, moving on, I got this one from... I got this on eBay from Foxborough. Uh, him and I have actually never conversed. I don't think he subscribed to me, but um, <clears throat> I was outbid on this, but then I was given a second chance off for a couple days later. I took it. Uh, it is a Michael Turner 2009 Playoff Absolute Memorabilia Spectrum Auto. Not a real fan of this card just because the autograph doesn't show up real well. Uh, but it's extremely short printed. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to show up or not. Two of five. So. And there's the autograph right there. So a nice short print in Michael Turner that I obviously did not have. Uh, I got this on sportscollectors.net for a good price. Uh, for my 1990 score set, it's been a while since I had an addition to that set. Um, none other than former Met and Blue Jay, Mookie Wilson. So that's pretty cool. Fellow that hit the uh, the ground ball past Bill Buckner in the '86 series, so that's pretty cool. Not an easy uh, autograph to get either. Um, then I got former Pirate, former Cub. Um, not sure who else. Former Met Frank Thomas, the original one, signed my 1961 Topps card. He does charge five dollars per uh, signature. Does go to charity, uh, so that's nice. Got that signed. And he included this card. Apparently that was made by some other collector in order to give away. So that's pretty cool. That was a freebie. And he always includes a nice long handwritten note about where your money went, you know. Um, and then it's and then it's um, it's signed, signed there at the bottom again. So always a nice return for Mr. Thomas, the original one. Um, Let's see, I got just a couple more. These are from the same guy. I got these for a good price. First off, certified auto of D'Angelo Hall, Pro Bowler this year. He had four picks against Jay Cutler. That was brutal in one game. So that's pretty cool. Sage rookie. Not too bad. Rare tennis autograph from Martina Navratilova. Got a nice close-up autograph right there. So cool right there. And finally, uh, Dakota. 28 Vikings all day. Yo, what up? I was in a group break of his. I uh, had the Saints and 
Ravens. Didn't get anything. Um, however, Dakota sent that many cards, and most of them are uh, PC guys. Uh, I won't go through all of them. Just Michael Turner, Michael Turner, Michael Turner, Michael Turner franchise. Uh, Topps Prime Michael Turner. I did not have that one yet, so that's pretty cool. It's my, actually my first ever Topps Prime card. Uh, from, this one's from 2010 Prestige. Um, I think it's like a silver parallel, some sort. Absolute memorabilia. I got uh, Carl Zambrano. Uh, some Bears cards. Devin Hester, Robbie Gold. Got an Andres Biedrinch. And then there's just some random Bowman cards. Big Poppy. Uh, and then we got some. Got Tyrus Thomas. Devin Hester. Just a lot of a lot of base stuff that I might be able to get signed. This is uh, my favorite freebie that he included. Was this Michael Turner? I did I did need from uh, this year's Epics. Um, I'm not sure what kind of foil you'll call this. So it's number two, 250. So that was pretty cool. And these were actually the cards I got from the break. Just some inserts. I got a Ray Rice Rush Hour, Drew Brees Highlight Zone, and this Ed Reed, some kind of card. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty pretty. So. So Dakota, thanks a lot for that, man. Thanks a ton for the freebies. You do not need to include any of that. So uh, I guess that is that, fellers and federal fellerettes. Uh, that's all I got for now. I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, stay safe.